What is up everybody? This is Moritz here from Sectionster once again and I super often get asked how it is possible to implement circle menu sections like this one which contain collections of products into stores and for me of course it is very easy because it means business and I can easily charge my hour rates for up to $100 an hour but in reality you don't need me for that and the app I do use for all of this is called Section Store. It's a component library from Shopify where you can easily do this yourself and it is done in a couple of easy steps and in this tutorial I will show you how it is done and I'll show you everything from start to scratch and the first thing we will do is of course look for the section inside the app and that is called circle menu that is the one and yeah like I said already instead of paying hundreds of dollars for developers like me you can easily get this one for a one-time fee of nine dollars that means if you bought it once you also own it forever and you can apply many different design ways on this section and yeah after successfully getting the section into your collection just add it to the theme you're using in my case it is the dawn live theme but it does work on every theme so don't worry about that and then simply just head on over to the theme editor where you scroll all the way down to add section and then type in circle menu 2 that is the one we already have another one inside the store but today we are going to focus on that one always make sure to save up after adding the section in the first place so you don't run into any unnecessary errors or it won't get displayed in a weird way and I'm going to walk you through this section real quick. So here you can see six blocks. If you click on one of them, you can first of all select an image. And I'm going to pick this one. So here you can see that is the first collection. Instead of tag, you can do top. And here you can decide the name of the collection, of course. This is going to be shoes city and here you can even paste the collection link and we're gonna pick shoes right here and if you click on it of course it's gonna direct you to the shoes thing and a bunch of other things you can do to the section I'm just gonna get rid of this one and show you the one I already filled with content it is the very same section and now I want to show you what you can do to the main block itself so you can see if I slide this one down save it up again it's gonna go down to four in one slide and here we have it so we could scroll to the side right here we can even decide what the gap is going to be beside the blocks of course the whole thing is fully responsive i do think it looks specifically nice on mobile because you get this nice little instagram kind of story feel to it and if we scroll down a bit more we can adjust pretty much everything inside the section if you're not happy with the border color we could change it to something like this as well so it actually looks more like a story and now i want to change this as well and i could just put this and now you already see it is getting a bit more purple i just chuck a couple more in and now you can already see the change let's save it all up have a final look at it in the live version i just wanted to give you a quick little overview of how you can use this whole thing and if we view it inside the test store, we are going to see how lovely it looks and how easy it actually was as well. So yeah, like I said already here, this little swiper works. And here we do have the first collection, the tag right here, and all the changes we've done look lovely on it. So yeah, that was pretty much it. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, always feel free to leave a like and follow. And if you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. And with that being said, have a good one and peace out.